for our next model, uh, which is called the Urban Suite Pollution, is an examination of the fragile equilibrium of a predator-prey ecosystem. So populations of people, landscape elements, and swarms of airborne pollutant agents compete for resources within an enclosed environment. So using this model, one can explore the behavior of the po population over time as they dynamically interact, in which the predators is the pollution, the prey is the people, that can be compared over multiple generations as their populations demonstrate regular or irregular reproductive success. As you can see here, there is an initial population slider, the birth rate, the planting rate, power plants and the polluting rate okay so at the bottom part of this program is a graph showing the trees people and the pollution at the right side of the program you will see here the simulation Now, if we set up an initial population of 100, birth rate at 7%, planting rate at point or 3%, power plant with 15, and pollution rate is 4, let us see what happened to the number of people. So as you can see, as there is an increase in power plants and pollution rate, there is a decrease in the number of people for about 105 years which means that there is a decrease in the number of planting trees so if there is a decrease in the planting trees and an increase in the number of power plants and pollution then it would affect the birth rate and the number of people in this simulation so at the end the people will die because of an increase in pollution so that's how to simulate the urban suite pollution in one scenario we have an initial population of 30 10 percent at birth rate, five percent planting rate, ten power plants, and two percent polluting rate. So as you can see, there is um, an increase in the number of trees as there is an increase in the number of of people. So there is a decrease in trees and there is a decrease in people so this means that as the number of people increase the number of planting rate also increase while the number of people decrease then the people will decrease so as you can see at the end of the simulation uh, at 874 years there is no already there there is zero people and there is a decline in the number of trees but the pollution is still increasing because of the power plants and the polluting rate of 2%